ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. I give open book tests, essay question tests. Uh, they have to write a paragraph per question usually. Open open book, not open book, pardon me, because we don't have textbooks really. Open note tests, and they have detailed notes. Why uh, don't I test their memory? asks one viewer. I believe it was Legendre007, I believe is in the comments uh, section of my page. Uh, but the reason that I don't test their memories is wrong. I do test their memories. For example, we're memorizing poems right now. Uh, we had a little bit of resistance from a couple of the students. One of them we might guess is Garrett. He's the only one who voted that, uh, that the student should have control of the school. And who's the other student who would resist memorization? And that happens to be Caden. Uh, and both of them told me that they're not good at memorization. Okay. By the I expected the the kids to all have their poems memorized by the end of the third day. But Cumin had his memorized in about they they choose the poem. Cumin had his memorized in about 20 minutes maybe. Uh, Brandon in about 30, uh, Taba within an hour, and uh, Daniel was able to do a pretty good job within about two hours. And we worked on him and came back and did recess and worked on him and came back and stuff. And uh, we had some problem with Garrett wouldn't even try. He just told me that uh, he can't memorize things. He said, I have a bad memory, I can't remember things. He said, I forget what I had for breakfast yesterday. And I said, I know, everyone's bad at memorizing. No, no, no one can memorize anything. Now, uh, read your poem. Read it seven times, and read it to me seven times. And then I hold it, and I give them hints, and they stumble through it, and then I give it back to them, and they read it to me once or twice more. And it's a poem that they chose, and they like. And uh, Caden had a bit of resistance on his. He was really insistent, and he kept mentioning that Cumin uh, is smarter than him, I think he said. Or Cumin's definitely, he definitely said Cumin's better at this stuff. He had said Cumin's smarter, but he, he just wouldn't try, and he resisted me all the way. And then, just to prove that he didn't want to do it, he stopped on the pronunciation of one of the words for about five minutes. I had to spell the word out very carefully, letter by letter. It was very tedious. And um, it's uh, I, I have not broken him of the habit of giving completely irrelevant answers, but I've cut it down drastically. And I think I've improved his behavior drastically, but here is a bizarre situation. However, he has memorized the poem after the second day. I expected them all to have it within three days for me. Second day, even Caden has memorized his. Garrett had his that day once I finally got him to read it through. He read the poem all the way through several times, then I read it to him a couple times, then uh, I had him read it to me again, then he had to try it, and then I gave him hints, then eventually I do it without giving him any hints. Uh, a few of them were a bit scared at first, but they all love it. They take to it. It's fine. Memorization is just fine. What's not fine is all the trouble that you get with students who have been trained by the public schools that they don't know anything, or that they're stupid, or they're slow, or they can't memorize, or that they have some sort of a problem, or that they can't learn, they have a learning disability, or something like that. It's drilled into them. Then I get the student and I just have to tell them, I don't care, I don't know, it doesn't matter, memorize your poem. An hour later, ta-da! Now, uh, Part two of this will be, it's not going to be called part two, it'll just be unrelated, will be uh, called ADHD and ADD, or vice versa, ADD and ADHD.